Hey, what is up everybody? It is Sam here, and today we will be reviewing Screenium version 2.1 for the Mac. Here we go. So a while back, Screenium just upgraded itself to version 2.0, which was um, in about March, between March and April of 2012, and recently they had just updated to version 2.1, which adds a couple of more options and fixes uh, several things. Uh, Screenium is available on the Mac App Store and on their official website for $40. I got Screenium a year ago when it was still in version 1, and it only cost me $30. So it is uh, $10 higher right now if you want to get it. Um, um, it is cheaper than ScreenFlow. ScreenFlow is $100, but um, this is a great great um, screen recording application if you want to go cheap and it's ju it just works. So let's take a tour of it. So here is Screenium. Let me just quit it so I can show you what the opening screen looks like. And this is it. Um, it's a little... Obviously, you know, the window hasn't... I can't resize the window, which I wish they would um, implement that feature into Screenium, but I can't do it because I was working on a bigger display. So it's um, it's a little weird, a little awkward, but it's uh, it should work just fine. All right, so as you can see up here in our top menu bar, we have five different features now. Um, if you own Screenium from version 1.0, you, you probably remember the fixed area feature, the full screen feature, the mouse area feature, and the single window feature. Um, but you probably don't remember this feature because this feature is brand new. Now, unlike ScreenFlow, where every single time they go to version 2.0, 3.0, 4.0, whenever they would do that, it would cost money to upgrade. Screenium is a free upgrade, so it is uh, pretty sweet. Pretty, pretty sweet. So looking at our, at our video settings here, we have the option to change our, dis our display source. And uh, we also have the option to change our resolution. We can also change our frame rate of the clip. We can also record compressed video, which um, the quality won't be so great and the files will be smaller, but it, it is great for anybody who's just willing to make a quick uh, screen capture, say if you're a teacher and you want to make a quick screen capture, this is great for um, that. Stealth recording. Now, what stealth recording does, if you are recording your Mac and you have the Screenium icon showing and showing down here, um, once you record, the Screenium icon will disappear, leaving your audience wondering what you recorded your screen with. It, it's great. It's a good um, it's a good trick feature. Right here um, for our desk our desktop settings, we have the option to hide our desktop background, and we once we do that, we can fill our desktop with a different color. And we also have the option to hide our desktop icons like Macintosh HD, but we are not going to do that. <clears throat> For our screensaver settings right here, we have the option to suppress the screensaver um, while we are screen recording, so that way it doesn't just activate, which I don't know why it would if you're just going to be moving the entire time while you do your screencast. I don't know. Um, in our audio settings here, we... Um, you will have the option between system audio and your built-in microphone. I currently have another microphone plugged in. Um, but for system audio, um, Screenium uses something called Soundflower, and you install that, and that is your system audio. And now going on to the EyeSight camera features, um, you have the ability here to activate your camera, which is what I will do. And there I am. Hello. Um, we have the option to change our cameras. We can change the size of our um, image on the screen. We can move it around wherever we want. We could bring the opacity down, bring it up, flip it, and uh, yeah, all that good stuff. Now moving on to the mouse part, we have the ability to capture the mouse pointer, visualize the clicks, show the click count, and show the mouse wheel. We also have the ability to change the duration, um, and as you can see, you just gave an example of it right there. We can have filled mouse clicks, and we can also display button names. So if I did, um, so if I am using the left mouse um, or the the left key on the mouse, then um, it would say left, and or if I'm using right, it would see that I'm using right. Also for the um, click count, notice how it is counting all my different clicks, which is interesting. And um, it also has the ability to show the mouse wheel. We also have the option to change our main button and other button colors, which is also nice. And like I said, we can change the duration and the strength. So it may take longer, but it is very cool nonetheless. <clears throat> so let me uncheck all these. 
Now moving on to keyboard, we have the ability to record our modifier keys and record our regular keys. We also have the option for adding a timer. I do not have a timer added, obviously I don't want one, so that is why I don't have a timer. And this is our media library. This is where all of your media goes once you are done recording. So to test it out, we are going to record full screen. And as you can see down here, the little Screenium icon is showing. Um, showing a recording icon right there next to the Screenium button. Um, so we are just going to stop the recording by right clicking. And when we go to our media library, this is our track. Now, here are the different options you have on the bottom for your track. You have the option to move it to the trash, create a composition, which I will get to in a moment, or export it just from Screenium. Now to export it, you have several options that Screenium has to offer, like uh, 3G, Apple TV, AVI, BMP, and all, all that other cool mobile stuff. You have the option to export it for YouTube settings, and you have the option to export it for your own settings, which is great. I actually like that feature. And now here's the new feature Screenium has introduced called Create Composition. Now if you are a Screenium owner, this looks very similar to, to um, Screen Flow. Sorry. To Screen Flow, it looks really similar to Screen Flow. Um, you have the option to lock your track, um, add text, add shapes, generate speech, um, change your rendering quality, add a voiceover, um, add another recording or export it, obviously. And it also works in full screen mode if you have OSX Lion. Um, here is your library, obviously, with all your different photos that you have, which is really cool. Uh, prop properties, in your properties here, you have the option to change your background colors. And in the effects, you have the option to add different image filters and different audio filters. And in the animations, you have options to add out animations, in animations, or custom animations, if you were thinking about that. So I am just going to export it, and exporting it is really easy. So I'm just going to save it as Screenium Test. I'm just going to save it to my documents. And I'm going to change my video settings to, actually, this is perfect. Let's keep it like that. These are the recommended settings if you were thinking about exporting um, anything from within the composer. And you have the, also the other option to change your audio format. This is the one I prefer. And let's bring it to about... Oh uh, no, keep it at 128 and uh, quality will be best. Okay, and our width will be 12, 1280 by 768. And we will, which is pretty much 1280 by 720, it's just a little bit higher, but nothing should be affected. And we will just export it. Now, as you can see, since this is only an 11 second video recorded with no compression, um, it will be a high file, but it should not be that many megabytes. Also down here on the bottom bar, you have options to play your clip, skip through certain parts of the clip. You also have the option to edit your mouse if you had the option, if you um, selected the option to capture your mouse. Um, you also have the option to mute and add other uh, point markers for whatever you wanted to add to your movie. And you also have the option to cut your clip and delete your clip. So that is all for the new version of Screenium. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching, and I hope you will consider getting this application if you are not, if you do not want to buy ScreenFlow for $100. Instead, you can get uh, this app for only $40. A lot cheaper. All right, you guys, thank you so much for watching. I am Sam, signing off. This is Mad Dog the Robot on YouTube.